You know, we often talk about medical first, but doctors in Britain are now hailing a medical second. With news today that another man has been cleared of HIV through an experimental therapy using a gene mutation. Michael Serapio has been on that story for us this morning. Michael, tell us more about this man and this treatment. Well, certainly uh, this is getting a lot of attention today, Heather, because we're talking about a man here who got a stem cell transplant uh, to, uh, in order to address his HIV at the same time undergoing cancer treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma and at the end of it some incredible results. Now the stem cells were taken from the bone marrow of a donor who had a genetic mutation that made this individual HIV resistant. There were some complications with the body initially rejecting the transplant but 18 months later after both the transplant and the chemo the London patient and London UK here is showing no trace of HIV. Now doctors uh, at this point can neither detect nor measure any virus in his blood and as you say this is the second time this procedure has proven successful. The first attempt happening in Germany, if we take a look at that patient, uh, it involved an American by the name of Timothy Brown and his transplant while he was undergoing uh, cancer treatment for le le leukemia. Well, that was back in 2007 and here we are some 12 years later and Heather to this day, he is effectively HIV free. So the second time this combination, this transplant has proven successful with men who are HIV positive. That has many people Michael, obviously very optimistic about what this could signal. Could this be a possible cure for AIDS? Uh, possibly lead to a cure, and that's what doctors are underlining here, lead to a cure, because as itself, this therapy uh, is too complicated, too expensive to actually be a cure in and of itself. Uh, for example, uh, the donor alone, you'd have to find a donor match for each person with HIV that wanted to pursue this therapy. Uh, you'd also have to find donors with that genetic mutation that makes them HIV resistant, but also add on to that the chemotherapy because at this point doctors don't really know uh, what helped eliminate the HIV. Was it the aggressive treatment for cancer? Was it the transplant itself? Was it the combination? In what part did this combination work? Those are still questions they're trying to figure out. But again, once they understand that, that could lead to a cure. Uh, at this point, though, doctors are not even saying this patient in London, UK is cured. They like using the term functionally cured or in remission, but still very much a big development here as they also underline the fact as they look for a possible cure out of this uh, therapy that right now already in existence are very effective therapies uh, for HIV as well as preventative medication people can take if they're worried about the virus, Heather. Michael, thank you very much. You're welcome. There's Michael Serapio.